Kristen with Simply Get Stuart, and I am back. So if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw me post some, not even all, of the boxes that arrived on my porch after Amazon Prime Day. I didn't go overboard, but I definitely got a few things. Okay, more than a few. But I wanted to share with you guys some of the things I picked up today. Now, I did buy a few just family type things my husband needed a brace for his arm and I bought some socks just random stuff and I'm not going to share with that you guys all of that type of thing but I am going to share with you guys the things that I picked up to use in our homeschool this year so bear with me you might want to grab a cup of coffee or at least grab your water bottle because there are definitely more than a few things here so I'm going to start hopefully I can get this out of the way with this I've been looking at one of these, and it is a tabletop. See, I got this big old stack over here. You can't see. It's a tabletop easel. You can see the little latch on the side that opens up the A-frame. And it is a whiteboard on both sides. It is um, roughly, I think it's 12 by 16 with, was this side. And I picked this one up. Uh, it was a lightning deal, I think. For like $12. So I've been pricing these and watching them. They were running a little bit um, closer to like $20 usually for this size. And my intention to use this is, as you will see coming up in my what did it and didn't work and my what we're doing next year curriculums, is to use this with the all about reading that we've been doing. So I want, I am continuing to do that. So you will know that now. But um, I wanted to be able to put them on this. We have a whiteboard that we put them on currently. It's not able to stay on the wall. So it's something we have to bring out. We have to take the pieces off repeatedly, put them back on repeatedly, and they can't sit upward. It has to lay flat on the ground, like flat on a surface um, for the table. And I felt like this would do much better just for the way my kids work and being able to pull the the towels off so we're going to try it out I wanted to try it out and when I found it on Amazon Prime I thought that was great because I could buy it for almost half the price so that was the first thing we picked up cool little thing it has that up there and I when I saw people storing things in it in the pictures we'll see how well it works because I don't see a latch or anything they actually had some things stored in between it I don't know if that'll work if I can set my baggies in there with the um, tiles that we're not using or not but we'll find out I'm just going to kind of toss some of this in the box over here, y'all, because there is so much stuff on my desk. The next thing I'm going to share with you is this really awesome Melissa and Doug um, clock. So we used to have the puzzle clock, and it had the pieces that came out. Really didn't work at all. I had no idea until, and I can't even name the mama that I was watching. I was watching some halls of resources there was a mom that I had never followed before, um, but I am following her now, so I don't remember her name, like I said. But she had shared this clock and how great it was. And I love that it has, if you see the every five minutes, it actually has them written on here. I thought just seeing that on a regular basis would help my um, uprising first grader to work on her time, as well as my rising second slash third grader. He's still struggling with time somewhat. He's getting much better. But it also has these little cards in the back. And so you can work on it and you can see right here, not only does it work with the analog time, but it shows you here the digital time that matches. So I thought this was really neat. You can work on getting one of these little flashcards and finding the right time and it will self-correct for them. So we're going to get this. We're going to set it up on our shelves that are right behind you. And my kiddos will be able to use this through the year to work on their time skills. So right before Prime Week, we had a curriculum sale in our little homeschool area. And I had already, I have a few of the pop games and the pop game that had the letters on it, I pulled out to get rid of because my youngest daughter is now going to first grade and everybody in our home knows all of their letters. She was really saddened by that. And so I promised her that if it sold there, which it did, that I would go ahead and I would purchase for her the sight words. So we already have sight words one. This is sight words two, which I will use with her and her older brother who um, struggles, if you've followed me before, struggles with reading some. So this will be able to be used for both of those students. 
and it was on sale for just over six dollars over prime day so i was able to get this almost for the price that i, I think i sold the other one for like four dollars so um just for a couple dollars more i was able to purchase this for her so she does not know she got it yet she's going to be so excited i've been kind of hiding everything my kids are currently out playing with the neighbors who were on vacation last week so um they were so excited to play with them i figured this would be a great time to go ahead and film this haul for you i picked these up these actually picked up like two days before prime and then they came in and they were pink and they're for my son and my son was like i don't really want to use pink scissors mom i had ordered blue well they still came in red not blue but he'll use red so i have these they are left-handed specific scissors these weren't really that great of a deal but i wanted to share with you guys since i was sharing all this the haul um he is left-handed and he has struggled with cutting and i didn't I don't know why I didn't realize, um, I guess just because I'm naive and I'm right-handed. There was another mom who mentioned the same thing. She was having the same issue, so it makes me feel not quite as bad. I'm not alone out there. That her little one was left-handed and struggling with cutting. And so she got them the left-handed scissors because she didn't realize there was such a difference. And apparently it helped. So we're going to try that out. Um, you know, he's a boy and he's like his father and, she, you know, his fine motor skills aren't the best. So hopefully that will help him out immensely. Oh my, I've got a big stack, y'all. So I, if you were following me on Prime Day, I did share quite a few deals on my Simply a Stewart group over on Facebook. Um, and there were quite a few games. So I got several of them. The first one I got was the Canoodle Head to Head. So this one I'm actually going to tuck away for Christmas for my big girls as a um, gift to share. I like to shop all year round and find really good bargains. We already have the original Canoodle, Canoodle Junior, Canoodle Genius, and Canoodle Extreme. Um, I think that's it. And my kids love them. In fact, we'll be going to a chiropractor appointment this evening. And I can guarantee at least one, if not more than one of those games will be going with us while they hang out um, and in the waiting room. So I kn knew when I saw this, this head to head, it's actually a two player where all the other games are a one player that my big kids would really enjoy playing this together. And so I picked it up. I do believe it was around $10 roughly. I don't remember the price on everything, um, but I do think it was in the pr $10 price range. So if you guys have not tried Canoodle yet, I highly recommend it. My husband likes to play it. I like to play it. It's great for younger ages clear up um, through old people. Uh, it's it's just one of those things that grows with you. It actually says on the so age, age seven to adult on the side um, because it starts at like a starter level and goes up through, you know, wizard or extreme or whatever they call it on the level. So uh, right there is just a picture on the back of how the game's played. So we picked that up. If you're watching this and you're related to me, don't say anything because that's for Christmas. Same thing with these. I'm not sure. I got four of these games and I'm not positive if I'm going to go ahead and give them to them for Christmas or maybe a back to school, um, like start of the year gift for each of them. But I got four of these Logic Roots games. So the first two that I got are Pet Me and Math Builder. I thought my older two kids would really enjoy this. Um, the Math Builder is eight and plus and it's kind of like Scrabble um, with math. So you put together math problems on like a Scrabble type board. And then we also got Pet Me, which I just looked up these things briefly because I didn't know a whole lot about them. And it works on um, just mastering that basic division skill so that they get it a little more quickly. And so I thought that would be great for my fifth grader, rising fifth grader. She does really well in math. Um, but I just thought that she would really enjoy these games and that that would be something that she could play um, with her older sister just kind of to solidify those skills. So the these run like $18 to $20 a piece, if I remember correctly, individually. And they were on sale on Prime Day for around $30 for the bundle. So I thought it was nice. Um, $20 a piece. You got a, a few dollars off each one. Like I said, I'm not sure if I will save these for Christmas or if I will give them for back to school so that we can use them for game schooling in the first half of the year. But I got the same thing for my younger two. I got Mountain Raiders and Monster Sock Factory. So uh, these will probably both be slightly above my rising first graders level. 
Um, but as we work, she'll be able to play with us and get much better. Mountain Raiders is an addition game, but as you can see on here, it has like 95 plus 7, which she can do, but she cannot do in her head yet. So I don't know how advanced it is in playing the actual game, um, but that's the one that she would be gifted. And then the Monster Sock Factory, which works on basic... Um, it's like repeated, basic repeated addition, smaller numbers. And so it's just your basic multiplication. And so again, I thought that would be great for my son who had just started working on multiplication last year. So I picked those up, same type of bundle deal. These were like roughly $30 for the bundle pack. And then I picked up this, this was a last one of my last purchases on Prime Day and a last minute decision, but it's the Ultimate Rock Mineral and Fossil Activity Kit by National Geographic. I really enjoy a lot of the National Geographic things, um, but things like the volcano set, my kids just make volcanoes, so a lot of them I don't end up buying. They have done quite a few, I will say, of the um, like fossil dig set, sets though. And so I thought that this would be interesting that none of my children are super interested as of now in geology. Um, it's an area in science that we don't touch on a whole lot because there's not a whole lot of interest. But I thought that if we got something like this, there might be a little more interest. Uh, my daughter is doing something that I think might be kind of related to this. I haven't dug in and done all of, um, I let her pick what she wanted, but I haven't dug in and went through all the materials to find out if it would fully be related to this, but I thought it might be advantageous for her. So I did pick it up. You can see on the back, this kit include what the kit includes, and I'll just flip it around and you guys can pause it if you guys want to see, or you guys can go look it up. Is it going to do it or is it blurry? There we go. So it's just a cool little kit. It was, it was $10 off. I think it was roughly around $20. So I thought that was a good deal. And then another, I did get a few other things that will definitely be Christmas gifts. I like to go ahead on Prime Day and find some educational gifts because my kids do get several gifts at Christmas time um, that I like them to be something that we're going to utilize. I don't want a bunch of junky toys laying around my house or really expensive electronics because we don't spend a ton of time on screen time. So I thought that this was really neat. It's called word street and it is for ages 10 to adult and it is a vocabulary game um, my daughter is very interested in vocabulary she has worked um, and gifted vocabulary over the past few years and so i thought this would be really cool uh, like i said it's ages 10 to adult so again something that's both in my older kids range that they can play together while i'm working with the younger two students um, so i think this will be a lot of fun and then likewise, um, my older daughter struggles a little bit in spelling. If you've been here for a while, you've heard that. She's doing much better, but my younger daughter does not. And so they'll be right about the same level because they're only two years apart to work on this together. So I got upwards. And so I thought this would be a ton of fun. If you guys have ever seen this, it's kind of like Scrabble, but you can build the words up as well as out. There's a picture of the board for you. And so I thought it would be something that would be great for us all to play. Um, my younger two students probably won't be quite ready for this, but in a couple years, they'll be able to play as well. I'm sorry, guys. I'm dropping some of this stuff in the box behind me because my desk was so full. And then I got Race Across America. Sorry, Race Across the USA is what it's called. But this seemed like a really neat card. It mixes geography and trivia together. You can see there's trivia cards. It's almost like a bingo card back here that you have to, um, I guess, fill up and with the state cards. And you have to answer these little trivia cards and you have to move your little, you have these little guys and you have to move them um, one space from wherever you started kind of in whatever direction. And then you answer the trivia questions. And if you get it right, you get to keep the card and all of that type of stuff. I thought this was right up my oldest daughter's alley. She loves anything to do with like history, geography, um, trivia on those types of things. She has a lot of the Professor Noggins like history um, and geography type games. So I thought that this would be right up her alley and a great gift for Christmas. So I picked that one up. And then we didn't, there was quite 
quite a few sales on learning resources, but I felt like most of them we either had or my kids had kind of grown out of. But my son was looking over my shoulder while I was sharing deals over on my group page and he saw this and he, I don't know why, he just thought it was great. And he is very um, inclined to be hands-on, kinesthetic type of learning. He really does enjoy anything that's like mechanical and engineering. And so when he saw it, he was super excited. So when he left the room, I went ahead and threw it in my cart and picked it up for him. And it's the engineering and design um, playground building set by Learning Resources. And this was, again, I think this was under $20, but it has all of these cards on the back that shows different ways to go ahead and set things up and all those pieces. And there's 104 pieces. So you can see it says four, five, and up. So I think this would be great for him. I do think my other kids will play with it as well, but I think he will really enjoy doing this and using the cards, but also just trying to figure out different ways to build things because that's the way he is. So I thought this was really neat. So there we go. And then we picked up a couple books. I didn't pick up a ton of books. I did pick up a ton of books from Target. Well, not a ton, but some. And then I picked up a bunch of books from Book Outlet. So I've got a haul coming on those as well. Um, but in the meantime, I picked up just a few books um, over on the um, Amazon sale. So the first thing I picked up, it was on a Prime Day sale. And at the moment, I couldn't find anything else that I wanted. But I did notice that if it was on Lightning Deal you could still pair it with the buy um, to get one free sale. Unfortunately, at the moment, I only had so long to check out on it and I wasn't finding what I needed, I guess. So I only got this one at the time and it was mushrooming with, sorry, mushrooming without fear. And so we've been working on foraging. If you followed me on Instagram a little bit, you've probably seen that. And my kids really seem to enjoy it. We also do a lot of hiking, and so we've come across some mushrooms, and my kids are super interested in them, but I know nothing about mushrooms other than the ones I buy at the grocery store I love to eat. So I decided that this would be a really good book to add to our collection for the year. I know my kids are going to just dive into this and thoroughly enjoy it. So another reason why I wanted to get this video out for you guys and so that they can go ahead and start getting into all of the things that they're going to be able to see Um so we picked that up and then I did do one set of the buy to get one free books. Um, I found after I had checked out with all of that, I had found one of these. I don't even remember which one it was, but I found one of these and was like, mm, I should probably get that. And so I did. Um, I got, and so I was wanted to buy other books, like I said, to get the, the deal. And so, cause I know I have a ton of books I always want. I bought the Building Spelling Grade 2 Skills. This is, it was one of the other two I wanted. I added this as one of them so that I could get it um, slightly cheaper. I am going to use this for my son in the upcoming year for spelling. It is Grade 2. He is technically going into Grade 3, um, which he is on target in science and history and um, math and all of those things. But in the language arts department with reading and spelling, he's a little behind. So I went ahead and I got him this because I want to, um, I don't want to challenge him at all. I really want to work on those basic skills and help him build confidence. I'd rather it be too easy for him than too difficult. Um, so I did pick up the level two. I'm excited to use this. He seemed excited to use this when I flipped through the pages um, on their website and was just looking through it. If you don't know, Evan Moore has an amazing um like samples page. When you go to a lot of curriculum, they'll pull up like four pages and that's all you get to look through. When you go to Evan Moore's site, they give you every single page. And so I was able to look into it in depth and see if it would be what would work for us. So I picked that up. I also picked up, this is probably what I picked up. It must've been cheaper. It must've been um, a price drop because of Prime Day. I picked up the Gary Paulson Wood Runner Woods Runner, and this is about um, a 13-year-old boy Samuel who lives with his parents on the edge of the wilderness in the British colony of Pennsylvania, a long way away from civilization of any town. So, I love Hatchet. It was one of my favorite books as a kid. 
my parents, I don't know, they just didn't know, I guess, to go like look up authors and I just didn't know to do that. And so I never read anything else by him. Um, but as being an adult myself, I know that I love that book. And so I bought Hatchet for my daughter this year. And when I saw this on I think I was researching just books for like Revolutionary War time. That's kind of what her history is going to be based on this year. And so I thought that this um, combination of being the author and during that time period might be really good um, adding to her individual reading. So I picked that up. And along with that, I picked up um, this Anna Strong and the Revolutionary War, uh, The Culper Spy Ring. So these books are really neat. We have, let me see, it's right actually on here on the back, Mary Bowser, The Civil War Spy Ring. And it's, obviously it's during the American Revolution time. It has this little kit on the back that they can kind of decode the things that are in the book, um, which is really neat. You can see it's just tucked in here in an envelope for them. So it all goes back in there. It doesn't get lost. Uh, and we do have, like I said, we do have another one, so it has stayed that way. But you can see, um, I think, let me see. There's one. I think this maybe, maybe is one of the things. I didn't read them, my daughter did. Um, but again, she is all about history. She's all about American history. That is her by far her, her niche and her favorite subject. So this will be in, um, one of the many books I have for her individual reading this year. Her stack is getting huge, but that's okay because she read over hundred books last year. So that is everything that I bought on prime day. So like I said, I got a few things plus a few more. Um, but if you guys see anything you guys like here, I will try and link everything down in the description. I would love from here from you guys what you guys found. And if you guys missed out on these deals because you didn't know about Prime Day or because you couldn't find the deals yourself, please hop over to Facebook. Look for the Simply a Stewart group. There is a page that we used to use. Facebook had all kinds of issues and we had to move it into a group. So check out the group, get added, and find the deals next time these things come up. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.